Well, shortly after making my video for today, the Chiefs dropped a pleasant bombshell when they announced that they extended three key people. Mark Donovan, President Mark Donovan, General Manager Brett Veach, and Head Coach Andy Reid. All three of them uh, came on together since 2017. At least they've all been together as a trio since 2017. They've overseen the Chiefs. And since 2017, the Chiefs have gone 134. 100 wins, 34 losses. Good God, what a bunch of winners. They also claimed seven consecutive AFC West Division Championships, four AFC Championships, and three Super Bowl rings. Good God, the Three Musketeers getting extended. Of course, everybody has an, a statement of their own. Brett Veach, Mark Donovan, and Clark Hunt. Everybody's grateful to be here and to keep it rolling. One thing I did want to note is that Andy Reid is going to be the highest paid coach confirmed in the NFL. Tom Pelissero said Chiefs chairman and CEO Clark Hunt told Andy Reid he wanted to make him the highest paid head coach in the NFL. And now he is on a deal that runs through 2029. And if my math is correct, that's a five-year deal, making him the highest paid coach per year or average per year. And if you look at the coaches that were making the most I think Sean Payton was up there. Sean Payton's making $18 million per year, and he inked a five-year deal, averaging $18 million a year. Andy Reid just inked a five-year deal himself, so he will probably be close to the $20 million per year mark, would be my guess. So yeah, he's not retiring. I know Mike Florio is very sad about this, and he is under contract with the team until he is the age of 71. So there you go. President Mark Donovan, GM Brett Veach, head coach Andy Reid, all three extended for the next five or so years. I would assume all of their contracts are close to similar, although I could very well be wrong. It's just they've reached extensions with them all at the same time. This is not the first time they've done that as well. So uh, I think they're all together. And you guys got to let me know your thoughts in the comments uh, on these extensions. They were kind of like at a random time, unexpected. You know, this is April 22nd just a couple days here before the 2024 NFL draft, but the Chiefs putting it in ink, locking these guys in as they not only chase a three-peat this year for 2024, but they chase uh, just continued greatness with the D word, dynasty present for this organization, a word that this organization mm, hasn't really seen in its history. You could argue that early on they were in Super Bowl one. They were in Super Bowl four. You were making some nice runs there, but this is officially a dynasty and uh, history is being made each and every year. We are in the midst of it. The greatest time to be a Chiefs fan, the greatest time of Chiefs kingdom in the entire Chiefs era. Couldn't be happier about these three getting signed and extended. Then obviously Mahomes is locked up for quite a while. That means what, uh, 2029, Mahomes, you know, have the next five or so years with Andy Reid as long as Andy Reid's health holds up. I don't see why he wouldn't stay, keep playing, keep thinking red, chasing Super Bowls and stacking up trophies. This is what Andy Reid has wanted to do his entire career, something he strived for even in Philly, made it to four straight NFC championships. I don't think it was five. I'm pretty sure it was four. Um, couldn't get the, the big one in Philly, but comes to Kansas City, makes the playoffs, they draft Mahomes, and then it's all she wrote since 2017. What a time to be alive. What a time to be a Chiefs fan. Uh, this is not good news for the rest of the AFC West. You know, as coaching changes continue to turn over and they try to figure it out. I mean, they signed who knows who as QBs these days. You got Gardner Minshew with the Raiders, <laughs> Zach Wilson over with the Broncos, uh, Jarrett Stidham as well. But in a time of uncertainty, a lot of turnover and change, and the AFC West teams trying to load up and take a shot at the Chiefs, they just keep locking people in. It's not only these three as well that got extended. Mark Donovan, Brett Veach, and Andy Reid, they recently extended Steve Spagnuolo, uh, the DB coach that I like to talk about every time. Dave Merritt, he's still with the team. They extended Joe Cullen. The Chiefs are loading up for a 3 P, and they're loading up to stay great for years to come, and I myself am freaking ecstatic. Let me know your thoughts on all this in the comments down below. And until next time, let's go. Let's freaking go. How about those? Yeah.